Hi, First Baptist. I'm glad to talk to you from my office this week because the atrium is uh, populated with people who are out there packing Christmas boxes for Operation Christmas Child. They'll pack more than 2,000 boxes this week. Uh, as we gather as a church, we're also a distribution point for other churches to bring their boxes to be prepared to go to Boone, North Carolina to be sent around the world. Every time you fix a box, you're preparing for a child you'll never meet, whose name you'll probably never know, but who will understand a little bit more about Christmas because of what you've done to share the love of Jesus Christ. This Sunday, we're gonna continue our stewardship promotion. You'll hear from another of our stewardship promotion committee members. You'll see a video about some of the inner workings of our church. And during both services, we will celebrate the Lord's Supper as we remember the loving gift of Jesus Christ who allows us to be freed from the power of our sins. I hope you'll be here for that as we get to worship just before Thanksgiving on a very special day. Sunday afternoon at five o'clock, we will meet the Christians from around the other churches of Church Circle, five o'clock at St. Paul's Episcopal. That's one of the events that I look forward to every year. I hope you'll be there. There's not only a great worship service, there's also a pie fellowship that follows and we get to be with our friends from the other Church Circle churches. So a special day. I wanna say thank you to some people who did a great job over this past weekend. Beth Hassler and Tony James, put together a wonderful Friday evening senior adult dinner honoring veterans, and Scott Fleming and the Kingsport Community Band did a great job. On Saturday, it was a different group, preschoolers who were here. Regina Campbell and her family put together a preschool Sunday school Friendsgiving, and there were little fellas all over the atrium having a great time. It was a wonderful experience. And then on Sunday, Molly Creel, led in a first-rate lunch and learn to talk about the mental health challenges facing children and youth and parents. It was a great time as more than 50 First Baptist people came together to learn how we can help our children and our grandchildren. I hope you're aware of just exactly how rich that is, that we have a multi-generational church that this weekend there were people from age two months to over 90 in this building, worshiping God, serving others, and learning to help each other get through life. It's a great experience we have as a church. Very few places have that richness, but we do. So I wanna give thanks to God for that and for what we're gonna experience on Sunday. Let's pray together. Lord God, thank you for the many, many generations of our church, every decade from the first breath of life to over a hundred. I thank you for the fact that we enrich each other through our experiences and our youthful vitality. Allow us to do just that on Sunday when we gather to give thanks and to worship you. In Jesus' name, amen.